I spent the better part of the previous decade, you know, the aughts. The aughts? I had a bad case of the aughts once. I was always feeling like I ought to do this and I ought to do that until I finally just gave it all up and drank a whole bottle of fuck it all. <clears throat> um, anyway, I spent a few years hanging out with some of the world's most famous pickup artists. Now, if you're normal, you may be wondering, how can anyone be famous for being a pickup artist? Well, let's just say that with the popularization of the internet in the late 1990s, sexually frustrated men everywhere found each other. And the first thing we all realized was that, golly, we were everywhere. And we all had the same problem. Again and again, we courted women as gentlemen, the way our mothers and sisters had taught us, only to watch incredulously as women denied us their bodies and eagerly threw those bodies at disgusting bad boys who left them with broken hearts and unwanted pregnancies. A few of these bad boys realized... Holy shit, man, I can make a lot of money teaching all these pud knockers how to walk up to women and say hi. And thus, seduction mentoring, for lack of a better term, became big business. The terms pickup artist and seduction both rang nefarious for me. I didn't want to hurt anybody. I didn't want to trick my way into women's bodies. I wanted women to want me as much as I wanted them. And I wanted them to demonstrate their desire for me as much as I saw them do for guys that frankly, didn't deserve or appreciate their pleasures. Deserves got nothing to do with it. In 2003, I drifted into a double-year dating seminar, fully expecting to be greeted by a flock of smarmy peacocks. And by the way, smarmy peacocks is a great name for a band, but I digress. Rather, I was pleasantly surprised to be surrounded by 300-plus curious, good-hearted guys from around the English-speaking world. A gathering of hungry minds, not just bodies. A kind of initiation into the realities of human sexual attraction. Three days of intensive study in evolutionary biology and psychology, with examples from classical literature and popular culture, as well as mentoring from guys for whom sex was as easy as reaching for a cookie without having to sneak it from a hidden jar. My eyes were opened. I saw clearly that for most men, myself included, our problems with women were of our own making. In a nut's hell, we got nervous around hot women, and that fear made us do and say really stupid things that turned women off. The answer was not pick up lines or clothes or cars or cologne. It was a combination of social skills, namely confidence and humor. And like all skills, these could be developed with practice. But one had to have room to fail again and again, like Bill Murray in Groundhog Day, in order to get it just right. And by room to fail, I mean one had to unshackle himself from the shame that failure brings. Not to mention that we're dealing here with sexual shame, perhaps the most potent form of all. And that's why there is no substitute for men helping men learn how to behave around women in order to keep the world turning. No man raised by a single mother or otherwise without proper male-to-male -male mentorship can ever learn how to really be a man around women. And sadly, not having access to good male mentors has marred the upbringing of most boys of the last few generations. Several years after the Double Your Dating seminar, I had the good fortune of being hired by one of these famous pickup artists to assist with his seminars. We spent a lot of time together over a two-year period, teaching both men and women applied evolutionary biology and psychology. In other words, we taught them how to walk up to the opposite sex and say hi. Something that is oddly excruciatingly difficult for most people, especially men. Hi. Go away. They say if you want to get good at something, teach it. In fact, I got so good at pickup that I lost all interest in it. I am no longer interested in fucking every hot woman that comes along. In fact, for me, it simply isn't enough anymore for a woman to show up pretty. Turns out this is common for pickup artists as they mature. Once the mystery of seduction is unraveled, deeper connections become more important. Oh, once in a while, I still get a boner upon meeting a hot woman. But more often than not, I lose it as soon as her syntax reveals that she hasn't picked up a book since college. Or worse, she doesn't even try to talk, choosing rather to take refuge in her phone. <laughs>